you're gonna watch. You are the first to watch my new blog called "Get It Off My Chest," and it's basically a blog about my life and what I hate about it. So here we go. And my apologies for it being so dark around here. I'm a dark skinned nigga, so get over it. All right, here we go. All right, what you want? I can't even talk about what's on my mind. You know what I'm saying? This this blog called um "Get Off My Chest" is basically to explain what's on my mind. You know basically a venting session I guess so yeah if you if you guys feel the same or you agree just comment or like the video or something like that you know what I'm saying but here we go alright what's been on my mind as late alright so I've been going on Facebook and Instagram as late and uh, you know what I'm saying I'm seeing niggas and bitches just posting the stupidest of photos you know what I'm saying like and I'm talking about selfies you, we all know what selfies is, you know what I'm saying? And it's basically when you want to take a picture of yourself for attention. I, 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 attention, that's the most accurate, you know what I'm saying? That's like the most accurate definition I can think of that, you know what I'm saying? And and I gotta stop saying you know what I'm saying, but it's a habit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, these fucking selfies, man, they're getting out of control, you know what I'm saying? One thing I hate... I, I fucking can't stand selfies sometimes, man. When I scroll down on Instagram and I'm and I'm about ready to double tap this bitch, and then she fucking um, she fucking has this stupid ass comment like that has that, that, that's the one thing I that's another thing I hate is when okay you're half ass naked in the picture okay, and then you post a comment that has absolutely nothing to do with the fucking stupid ass slutty picture that you just took. Like, oh, oh, okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a pretty, you got a pretty bitch up there doing a fucking duck face, you know, like the smacking the list together type shit on there, and uh, she and she posts a comment talking about L let wind be free or something, or some stupid shit like that. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Why can't you just say? Okay, I just typed this selfie because, or I just took this selfie because I was bored and I want attention and I want to give some head. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I know the story, right? <laughs> All right. So, uh, and she wants some dick in the world. But anyways, what? It, it, don't get me wrong, okay? We all have that, you know, want to have the... We want to be wanted, you know what I'm saying? We want to have attention from the opposite set. And I'm not any different, you know? Sometimes I be... Sometimes. The word is sometimes. I be posting pictures on Instagram, you know, just to see who, who who's, into, who's into it, you know what I'm saying? But then you got these motherfuckers and bitches, like, posting constant, constant photos of their fucking selves, you know what I'm saying? And that shit is annoying as fuck. And... Uh, and, and then, the, and then, what really, what really sets this shit off is when one, two, three, fifty niggas like the fucking photos, and then somehow all those niggas are considered thirsty. Are you serious? They are not thirsty, bitch. If anything, you're the thirsty one because you crave these likes. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You tie your self-esteem into these photos. You, you put your best self into these photos. You put all of your soul and effort into these photos. <laughs> and then when you don't get the amount of likes that you want, then you want to sit up there and cry like, nobody likes me or some shit. Or nobody wants to date me. Listen to me, okay? The main, if you do say any of those things, the main reason they don't want to date you is because you're already in a relationship with Photoshop and Instagram. Okay, bitch? You you're in a relationship with the internet, okay? You, you you constantly post these fucking photos on there, trying to get these attention from niggas that you claim is thirsty. Yet you're the one up there, posting photos of yourself to the internet to random ass motherfuckers or motherfuckers that you probably know on Facebook because I've seen on seen it on Facebook, okay? I've seen fucking selfies on Facebook and. and and I've come to the conclusion that the reason they do this is because they want attention. That's okay, alright? We all have egos. We want, want attention. You know what I'm saying? I want shit! I want attention! But, I mean, the thing is, if when you tie your... 
it's it's okay to want attention sometimes, you know, take a picture here and there, whatever. But when you st start to tie your self esteem into those pictures by, you know, constantly posting shit, on, posting yourself on there or taking pictures, that's when it starts to get to get fucking annoying. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, all right, you constantly posting these fucking pictures, okay? And all right, you get a few. And what happens when you get 50 or 60 likes? You feel good for that one time. What about a week from now? I see another selfie. You get another 70 likes. I see another. You get a, a good 20 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You you. There should be no reason that you should tie confidence into your photos. Confidence should come from inside, not the way you dress, not the way you look, not how big your breasts are, not how big your ass is. You know what I'm saying? There should be no fucking reason whatsoever why you should tie your looks into your into your um into your pictures or your looks as a whole when you're in person. Now, I understand, all right? Society's fucked up. The first thing that we see I mean, come on, do you, do you really think, let's just say you see a fine-ass girl or a fucking hunk of a guy walking around, walking like past you, is the first thing you're really going to say is, mm, damn, look at that girl's personality, man, I like to tap that intelligent, you know what I'm saying? You don't want, you don't ever say that. We're humans, man, the first thing we see when we see an attractive-looking, another attractive-looking human being is, is what we look at. Then we do what we think, you know what I'm saying? And... As fucked up as that is, not everybody is going to be attractive to everybody. So, which moving on to our next point, which is the factor of being attractive and ugly. Like, let's move on to my next point here. All right, we all have certain like high standard standards or ways of what makes a person attractive. Or not. I'm not gonna lie, okay? You got motherfuckers out here who are shallow, okay? shallow okay they only care about looks or getting a one one hit wonder out of it you know what i'm saying they only care about the fucking looks and that's okay but uh that's not nah, fuck that i don't know what i was saying that's not okay you know what i'm saying that's not okay okay it's good all right she looks good but what about her personality what if she turns out to be a bitch and steals your money and she turns out to be a gold digger all right for me personally you can be the prettiest big titty Big ass, luscious lip, long haired, makeup wearing female I have ever seen in my life, alright? To the point where I bust two nuts, okay? But, you know what I'm saying? But when you when you start to speak with that little bitchy voice, you know, and start being bitchy and ghetto and just just not talking like you ain't not got no fucking sense and you hard headed and shit. That's when, you know, that, 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 you know, that attractiveness just, you know, that attractiveness level just goes down. That's at least for me. I don't know if anybody feels the same way, but this is fucking stupid, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and then you got, you got the, the, the not so attractive ones or the ugly ones, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they, of course they would have a low self-esteem because they are rarely talked to. You know, society's fucked up, okay? You are more likely to fucking go up to someone who's attractive than who's ugly. So, of course, they're going to have low self-esteem about themselves. Or they're trying to compare themselves to the pretty girl, like, pretty girl or pretty boy. In, or, like, this fucking jock or something like that. Saying, like, why can't I be as strong as him? Or why can't I have pretty hair like him, her? Or, uh, fucking, why can't I have, like, perfect six-pack abs like him? Or... Or fucking, why can't I have a big ass like hers? See, the problem with society, man, is that they tie... They watch the media, okay? They tie too much of themselves into the media. Like, when I'm when I'm up there, like, watching The Expendables sometimes. Like, sometimes I, I have the urge to want to be as big as fucking Terry Crews. And that is a big motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? I came to the realization one day, he was like, you know what, fuck it, man. It's my body, like he sweat, my body, you know what I'm saying? This is the one I was dealt with, and I'm going to use it the best way I can. So that's why I started training, like, 
three times a day to try to get as big as I possibly can. You know what I'm saying? Not like big like to where I start losing my agility, but just big in general, okay? And look, society Unfortunately people are most people are a low self esteem enough to fucking change their looks or fucking change their uh their way of like, you know, dressing, their way they look, their accessorizing, just to fit in or to get some dick or pussy in their world, okay? We've all been through that, I've been through that myself, but then that, just a hill that I just fucking conquered. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like I didn't need to change myself for any fucking bitch, no matter how pretty she is. You know what I'm saying? All it takes is just confidence. Confidence in yourself. Now, there's a difference between that and cockiness. Cockiness is when you think you are the shit. When, it, when in fact, you are shit. You are not the shit. You are shit. Okay? And this is where, like, it gets out of hand because you got motherfuckers who are confident because they are attractive. They've been told by almost every single human being they came in contact with that they are attractive. And they feed off of that, which brings me back to my previous point. You know what I'm saying? They feed off of that confidence. They feed off those compliments, which in turn gives them confidence, which makes them want to come back for more and more and more and post pictures more and more and more and get more likes, okay? I am, this is what they call thirst traps or something like that. This is, why, this is why I rarely like a pretty bitch's photo. You know what I'm saying? Because it is a trap. It is a thirst trap. Okay? They're just trying to prove how thirsty. You know what? And it's another thing. This sort of ties into like singles and relationships. You know what I'm saying? You see a fucking fine ass girl and you go up to her and you talk to her with the most utmost respect. You know what I'm saying? You talk to her like she's a fucking woman, and then, for some reason, she thinks you're unattractive or something, and then you're automatically considered thirsty. But with, but if the same, if the same motherfucker came up to you and said the same thing, but this time he was more attractive than the one who came up to you, then he's not thirsty. Then he's just being nice. You know what I'm saying? That what kind of fucking shit is that? You know what I'm saying? And well, here's what I don't understand. Like, okay. They say that you need confidence to go up to, to a certain individual to get their attention. Okay, man, look, here's the reality of it, okay? Yes, you do need confidence, but you also need to do something like wash your ass or get that shit off you. You know, you wash your ass, look presentable, okay? You can't just go up to, and start talking, spitting game to a girl or try to get with a boy and expect, like, you know, her not to look at you because we're humans, all right? The first thing that we look Look, the, the word look, okay? The first thing that we see is the looks, you know what I'm saying? And as, as a fucked up as that is, it's true, you know what I'm saying? I'm a nigga that spreads the truth. I speak the truth, okay? And, I, you know what I'm Damn, this shit got me speechless already. Like, uh, they fucking... Damn, my mind went blank. What was I just talking about? Shit, what was I just talking about? Uh, it, yeah, like I was saying, it was, it's fucked up how society thinks like that. That's why, that's why you see most of these motherfuckers on Facebook or Instagram saying, I'm lonely. It's hashtag single, hashtag forever alone. That's what brings me to my next point. The fucking singles, okay? Listen to me, alright? If you're gonna fucking be sing, saying you're single, oh, I want some dick, I want some pussy, alright? Alright, you know what I'm saying? I want something. I want a relationship. I want to meet a girl in my life. Okay. I get that, okay? I understand. But if you're going to sit there and fucking post something like that and not do anything fucking about it, what is the fucking point of posting it in the first place? You know what I'm saying? You're, not, you're sitting there saying, I want a girlfriend, but I want her to come to me. That shit is not going to happen. You need to get up off your ass, wash your ass, and take your ass and fucking get some pussy or dick in your world. You know what I'm saying? At least try. You can't expect any everything just to be handed to you on a silver platter, okay? And that's another thing, man. Which brings around to my next topic. Man, I'm just thinking this at the top of my head, you know what I'm saying? This is why I made this blog in the first place, because this is the only way I can get this shit out from my chest. But let's move on to the next topic. Work, work uh, let uh, motherfuckers who are 
rich. Okay. You're rich. Okay. There are hmm rich motherfuckers in this world. Okay, rich. All right. Have you ever wondered how the fuck they got rich in the first place? Most gotten rich by not working at working at all. Okay. Their parents, pussy ass parents. I'm sorry. Did not have the balls to you know don't. It's most parents these days don't have the balls to tell their their son or daughter what to do. So their son and daughter tends to get an ego in some shit, and they fucking you know they think they rule the fucking world and they think they can get anything in the palm of their hands because their parents did not do discipline them enough to you know tell them what to do. And then they end up getting the ass whooped and they want to come to their parents why you didn't do this why you didn't do that all right. Look, man, I, this is my honest, God honest opinion, because I've seen it happen plenty of times, okay? I've seen it happen plenty of times. So, you're coming up, alright, I'm over at my friend's house, you know, we're chilling out. Alright, his mom, you know what I'm saying, the nicest, sweetest woman I've ever met. Compared to my mom, she's the nicest, sweetest woman I have ever met. I was like, damn, why can't I have a mom like her or something? I do her dishes or something. So, so she comes up in and says, do you want some... You guys want some water? This ungrateful little motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm staring, like, as soon as he said this, I gave him that, like, look as, like, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? But she said, you guys want some water or something? This guy proceeds to say, no, mom, we're fine. Get the fuck out of the room. Or something to that effect. I'm all staring at him like, the fuck is wrong with you, motherfucker, man? This my mom would never offer me or my friends water, man. She told me to get my ass up and get it herself, man. get it myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got some ungrateful rich motherfuckers who think they can just pass by, but because their parents, dumbass parents, spoiled them to death on life. You know what I'm saying? And 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 they're materialistic. They're superficial about shit. They think they need to have the latest fads. They need to think they need to have the latest clothing from Agricombe, fucking Hollister, American Eagle, South Pole, whatever the fuck. You know, anything that comes from a mom, they got just gotta have, man. That's not the case with most most. At least that's not the case with me. I can wear anything. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's some on some suit and tie shit, some fucking or plain ass sweater or snapback or something like that. I don't give a shit. All right. I, and it's funny, man, because you see, like, and most, 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 you can you can argue with me all you want, but but most of these motherfuckers that I've seen in that same type of situation with their mom just happen to be white. Okay, they just that and this is just coming from me. They just happen to be white. You know what I'm saying? And and you would expect like black people like me to not to not to prosper you know what i'm saying we have this reputation that we're just bums you know what i'm saying we don't prosper in life what we do is just deal drugs fuck sling music can't talk right or fucking talk the other one something like that and and, and 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 it's okay because that's just their opinion you know i'm doing my own grind i've started from uh, yes i'm gonna say it i started from the bottom and now i'm here fuck it all right <laughs> I have started from the bottom and now I'm here. You know, I've started. All right, person, here comes the story. All right, but from the ages of when I was five all the way to where I was about fifteen, I have had my life has been in complete shit. Okay, I've been bullied, man. I've been called a nigga to my face. Uh, I've been heartbroken by all these hoes that I was trying to get after when when I realized that they weren't even worth getting after after all. Fucking, uh, I've been doubted. I've been saying that you can't do this, you won't do that. Turns out, uh, I'm in the, currently, uh, enlisted in the U.S. Army right now as a 42 Alpha. You know, I'm doing big things. As far, I, I used to be, I used to be teased about getting, you know, being skinny and weak and, now I'm swole as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And uh and and if and if school wasn't already 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 hard enough to deal with, I had to come home to my mom. Okay? My mom has had and still has depression, you know what I'm saying? And for most of you got ungrateful motherfuckers who don't know what it's like dealing with a parent like that, it's fucking hard. It makes you depressed yourself. It's like a fucking sickness, you know what I'm saying? At least when you're around that person, it makes you depressed. But um, she's constantly being negative, saying that 
uh, why why didn't you have good grades? And the only reason I couldn't focus on my grades is because these niggas at school was giving me a hard ass motherfucking time, and I couldn't do anything about it because I didn't want to get suspended and ruin my fucking career. So she asked me why my grades are this bad, and I tried to explain to her what's going on. She's not listening. She said you better get this grade up, grades up, or I'm kicking. She threatened to kick my ass and kick me out of the house multiple times. So dealing with that, uh. I graduate from high school, fuck that, fuck high school, and uh, I graduated from high school, you know, got things going, um, so uh, things were looking rough, alright, after high school, I basically spent, tried to get a job, tried to, you know, get hired in some sort of way, you know what I'm saying, and motherfuckers just didn't want to hire me because I didn't have enough credentials, you know what I'm saying, and that's a shame, but um, yeah. But, on the real though, uh, I've been struggling, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I didn't have a job, I couldn't afford anything, I had to borrow money from my parents and friends, and uh, all that, and I rarely went out to eat. I remember just being in high school, just constantly eating at the, uh, eating at the, uh, commons or cafeteria, because the motherfuckers who had jobs or were had handed money on a silver platter, you know what I'm saying? And they constantly went out to go eat or go eat somewhere, which I thought was bullshit, but it's okay. But yeah, so I uh, manned the fuck up one day and decided to go into the U list myself into the U.S. Army. And now I'm making money. I got, as a matter of fact, behind you guys is a big ass 55 inch screen TV that looks great. I got PS3. Uh, I'm living in barracks right now by myself. I don't have to worry about uh, nobody telling me what to do anymore. I don't have to worry about uh, me and my mom. My relationship with my mom is going great. There's like a gym right across the street down there. I can go work out anytime I want to. And yeah, things. Just, I, I really think God was looking out for me that day. But yeah, that's the story. And I think I just lost my point from there. But. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember what I was talking about. But the thing is, man, I did, these are some grateful motherfuckers out there. Like, if my mom brought me a fucking tablet, I would be grateful as hell. I don't give a fuck if the tablet was okay. Maybe if it was pink, that's a little going overboard. I may have to use it on my alone time. But if she, my mom brought me a tablet, I'd be fucking ecstatic. You know what I'm saying? I see half of these motherfuckers talking about, "Mom, I wanted a white tablet. You stupid bitch." I was like. You need to get your ass whooped, for real. You hard-headed as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I hate people like that. Ungrateful motherfuckers. You got starving kids in Haiti and Africa who don't even have food on their plate, yet let alone a trace of a house to live in, and your ass is over here in the United States complaining about that your mom didn't get you the right color of a fucking tablet? Are you fucking kidding me? You need to get your ass whooped, man, for real. Yeah, man, but uh, I think I have one more thing on my mind, and then I'm going to end this video. <sighs> okay. Let's start out with the full... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, damn. Did I, shit. <laughs> I thought I had it on my mind. Okay. Okay, let's let's go deeper into relationships, okay? The reason that I cannot be in a relationship and I refuse to be in a relationship right now is because I can't trust I can't trust hoes, girls these days, all right? And I, I because look, man, girls do not know what the fuck they want, okay? Let's let's be real here. Girls do not know what the fuck they want when they're like 18. Or like mid twenty, or like early twenties, or something. Like that. They don't know what the fuck they want. They'll just grab the nearest dick beside them and just grab it just because they they have low self esteem and they want to be noticed. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong about that, but I don't give a shit because it's my opinion. Okay. So, and this is where this nice guy, bad boy comes in. You know what I'm saying? Like here, they here's 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 the problem. Okay. Okay, uh, this has been masking, this has been a mask 
in a lot in life for a long time. The nice guy. Nice guy, you know what I'm saying? He goes up, he asks the girl, you know, trying to get to know her, asks her out, she says, Oh, you're such a nice guy, but I, I'm sorry, I just want to be friends. What she's really saying is, bitch, nigga, you ugly. I'm you're not my type, and I need you to fuck out of my face. And as harsh as that sounds, and you know what? They never want to say that because they don't want to be mean, you know what I'm saying? And then the guys over here are saying, Nice guys, finish the ass, blah blah blah. Fuck that, okay? Here's the here is the real conception about nice guy, okay? You can be as nice as you want. Maybe the reason they, they don't like you is because you're fucking boring. Have you ever, ever considered that, okay? You there is nothing wrong with being nice. There's nothing wrong with being nice. There is just like there is something wrong with being assholes, okay? The reason that most of these motherfuckers, most of these hoes, are into these bad boys is because. Of the excitement they bring. They're not boring. They're unpredictable. You know what I'm saying? They're unpredictable. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying for all you motherfuckers who feel like that the girl that you've always wanted has gone with the bad boy that you, the, the supposed bad boy, here's what I have to say to you, man. Get, get fun, okay? Stop being boring, alright? Do something interesting, alright? Look, look, man. Between you and me, he, he, girls are just as much as human as us, alright? They're nothing special. They're not special, nor are they any less special, okay? They are just as human as us. So just go out and talk to them like they're a fucking human being instead of putting them on fucking Empire State Building like they're fucking the last fucking precious gem on Earth because I'm going to tell you right now, they're not, okay? There's some scheming motherfuckers out there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's basically all I have on my mind right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, like, a good 30 minutes ago, this is a, a blog that I'm creating called, uh, fucking, uh, Get It Off My Chest. And, uh, as I move on or as I'm, uh, fucking get some blown up in my mind, I'm just gonna let it all out through my mouth. No filter, no nothing. Speaking of filter, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. One more thing. Instagram, filters. Okay, I seen the, I, the, I was on with the pre pictures. okay? I seen the fucking filters, okay? The fucking picture that says no filter, bitch, that does not make you any more attractive than what you already not, okay? So what? No makeup, boo-hoo, okay? Fuck it. Alright, so what? No makeup, okay? What was that? Supposed to, is that supposed to mean something? Hmm? No filter. A filter can only change your picture slightly. Make you make maybe make a dark skin nigga more light skin. I don't know. Maybe try to hide your fucking features that you need to get rid of instead of fucking covering up with makeup. I don't know. Just a thought. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, on, on that note, you know what I'm saying. That's all I have. And uh, if you have anything to say about what I just said just comment like the video subscribe YouTube channel name is mr. Wesley you know what I'm saying can't stop won't stop <laughs> and uh, yeah I'll uh, be uploading more uh, blogs slash video game walkthroughs soon uh, I guess I'm getting more into these blogs than the video game walkthroughs I guess because whatever but uh yeah, you know what's Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe I'll uh, talk to you guys again sometimes, YouTube, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, peace out.